Hey y'all, what's up? Good morning. It is about two, almost three o'clock in the morning here. Three o'clock in the morning and I was, I had some time and I went and I was going through the comments on the video about Dallas and I'm trying to make some videos to address some of the questions um, because I feel like some things get lost in translation via text and maybe this video will help somebody else because it seems like quite a few of y'all are thinking about moving to Dallas. And so I want to help make uh, help y'all accomplish this, but I want to give y'all um, some facts because you know people like facts. You know I don't want you to just think it's just my personal opinion. I'm not the only one. Black Enterprise also said that Dallas was one of the top ten uh, best cities for African Americans. Did y'all know that? So I am gonna be looking down just because I printed some stuff just because I wanted to read it off, but I'm gonna break it down. I'm not just gonna just read to you some scripts. I worked custom service. I used to hate when I felt like people were talking to me from the scripts. I'm like, keep it real. But, um, they said Dallas is ranked number two for African American migration growth. Um, this was a, this was a, a statistic back from 2000, between 2000 and 2010. Very true. And it's, I believe, I don't know if they've done another study that was by the Brookings Institute, but I'm sure if they did it, it would still show that there is a lot of growth. Uh, it was ranked number five in the Black Enterprise 2007, 10 best cities for African Americans. What was I doing in 2007? I was in Dallas. I was working, booked and busy, making some coins, major coins. I was really busy. Uh, the Dallas metropolitan area, known as North Texas or DFW, DFW, is a growing conglomerate of cities with a population of over 6.4 million. Black Americans have been moving to the area in very large numbers over the past 20 years. See? It wasn't just me. Um, black facts about Dallas Fort Worth. Oh, and I'm oh, and the reason why I'm addressing this is because uh one of the commenters, Sam Cook, said that Houston is more black than Dallas. And I will explain um my thoughts on that in a minute. Uh, black population of DFW is uh over one point at this last at this particular uh when they did this study, which was in 2016. Uh, 1,140,621 and that's coming from 6.4 million uh, people in, Dow in Dallas. Uh, the percentage of black people, 16%. I'm seeing like it's more than that, but it's that 16%. Uh, median income, 42,000. Married couple families, at least 30% of the married couple families are black Americans. Bachelor degrees and up, 25%. Black fact. Home ownership rate, 38%. Black fact. Families in poverty, 18% black fact. Young black professional Dallas, thousands of black college grads are moving to the DFW area in search of new careers and new lives. Dallas diverse economy is attracting young grads and professionals from all over the country. Every day they arrive, every day that could be you boo, every day they arrive, most taking residence in the plentiful luxury apartments across, I'm gonna talk to y'all about that, I'm gonna break that down. The northern suburbs, mid-cities, and the suburbs south of the city. These uh, YBFs are poised to join the ranks of Dallas expanding black middle class. Dallas black middle class, um, this is evident by the number of young black families now enjoying home ownership in the area, which is true. Let me, before I forget, let me go and tell y'all this real quick. Dallas has so many grants. I was, I, all you gotta do is take a, a new home buyer's owner class, I mean, um, what was it? Yeah, new homeowners uh, buyers class. They got so many grants. They just want you to move to certain areas, and they will pay you. I took a class. I'm, it's gonna come back to me, but I'm, when I when it does, I'm gonna post the link. But I took a class, and they offered me twenty five thousand dollars. Took this class on a weekend, and um, it was they wanted me to move. This was I think in Lancaster at the time, and I was gonna move because my kids weren't gonna go to school there. I was gonna move. They were still going to school like in downtown Dallas. But the house, the area was nice and everything. And basically what they, because I have um, a large family, they were basically, you know, you, the more citizens that you have to the community, the better. You know, as far as like for tax purposes, you know, different um, things that you want in the area, libraries, it just, it, you know, helps with the infrastructure. And so they were offering like grants to get people to move, um, to just kind of like, instead of moving like just straight up in the inner city, but to like kind of move to the, you know, the suburbs basically but they have tons of those programs uh like the urban league they always are posting when they have the programs the dallas housing uh was hud hud i was gonna say dallas housing authority but hud 
at that time this was before what's the what's that black guy who's with trump i can't think his name i don't remember him he not on my radar but him before he became before he started running there was another guy and they were doing like great things but anyway there's plenty of grants and funding and plenty of classes and opportunities to help you get a grant to get in a house i was literally only reason we actually i had a house because at the time the first one was when my husband was in the military so they had like different stipulations on when you can get when you can use it again but um what i want to tell y'all oh basically with the class um i was gonna be able to move into this house for probably like less than two thousand dollars it was gonna cover my closing costs the down payment assistance program so they do have opportunities if you don't have the, the coins you know get your credit together and they got plenty of professionals to help you with that they got the broke black girls on facebook they can help you they got all kind of resources on how you can build your credit up to get, get you. and those programs i ain't gonna anyway this ain't about, this ain't about getting y'all a house but if you want a video on that comment let me know and I, i'll share with y'all what i know i'm not no housing expert but i'll tell you how i got mine and maybe you can get yours okay but this video is about moving to dallas getting y'all to giving y'all the facts about dallas and about because sam cook said one of the commenters said not Sam Cook the singer. He said Dallas is not black enough, or not black enough. I don't want to. I don't want to put no words in his mouth. He said Houston is more black. Now, what I will agree is with is yes, Houston is like at last count, I believe it was the fourth largest or fourth most populated uh, city in the United States of America. Now, saying that, of course, you're going to have more black people. Um, you also have a large population of uh, Nigerians. Houston is like Nigeria outside of Nigeria. I've been to Nigeria. Nigeria is massive. Like, I thought New York was a bit much. No, it has nothing on Nigeria. Nigeria is, is massive. I love it, and it was massive. Uh, so when I go to H-Town, my husband is Nigerian. When I go to H-Town, I feel like I'm in, like, not back in Lagos, but I feel like um, anything I want, I can find there. The food, clothes is there you can find that too in dallas because there's just there's a large population of nigerians in dallas too they have the uta campus they have a huge um, my daughter when she was going there she was like mommy was like um little africa that's they have like a, a whole community and that's kind of what they call it like the college kids and stuff so yes houston is going to have more black people just based on numbers alone on sheer numbers but dallas has a booming um black population too i feel like whatever you're looking for you will find it Dallas has a lot of civic uh, organizations uh, geared towards black people. They have black churches. Come on now. The Powders House is there. Uh, Dr. Tony Evans is there. Come on. One of the best churches I went to, North uh, Dallas Black Community. North Dallas Black. What was it? Hold on. Was it black? Yes, because it was NDBCF. North Dallas Black Community. Um, yeah, North. Oh, I don't want to say it wrong. NDBCF. North Dallas Black Community. I don't know what the F is. I can't remember what the F was. But anyway, I love that church because the pastor was from Grambling. Him and his wife, he's retired, but the church is still booming. Um, okay, so you got like all the churches, all the churches, even churches for LGBT. Um, Pastor Rudy Rush Church. I mean, so if you into that, you got stuff for that. I'm not even like a big church goer, but they always have so many festivals and stuff going on that I would take the kids for that. You got um, the Dallas Black Academy of Arts and Letters. My kids used to go to summer camp there. That was free. You got the Dallas, uh, you got the African American Museum over in uh, Fair Park where they have a huge um, State Fair of Texas. Yeah, they got an African American Museum there and it is nice. You have... Um, the South Dallas Cultural Center when you want to do like drumming and all of that plus they have those they have all of those events like throughout dispersed throughout the city anyway at different times they have festivals they got the the Tulasoma uh, book fair festivals you got hold on I got I printed out some links I'm gonna post the link to this here um, under this video so y'all can see it for yourselves where if you're looking for any kind of resource you can go there and you would these were like the black websites media and organizations in Dallas I'm gonna tell you the ones that I know that I use all the time. Now, what I will say is this, I am a person who researches. I am a Google queen. So, I was always about the free. I even used to do a YouTube, had a YouTube channel called Dallas Families on Dime because I would find stuff to do, take my family, and I don't care if we were the only black family at the Irish parade, the Celtic parade. I mean, Celtic parade. 
we would be up in there and now when you go it's a whole bunch of us so just because it's not that many don't mean it's gonna always be that way because i'm like in the dallas i'm in the nomad the nomadness tribe but then they have a dallas branch too and so we all click up and hang out together there are so many organizations there is no reason for you to say or there's no reason for you to feel like you can't find no black people if you don't find no black people you might be a hermit because they're there they're, they're out there we out here okay so they got the dallas newspaper so i would say look for the dallas weekly that's free you'll see that in different newsstands the north dallas gazette if you live like in plano and frisco louisville they'll have stuff like uh related to more to like north dallas like richardson uh, the elite newspaper that was like for the all the church all the church functions all the church news you want to know when manpower 2000 2019 is going to be here when this women conference because they got plenty of women outreach marriage couples seminars you name it, you're going to be able to find it in Dallas. If you if you want to start a seminar for women, you're going to be able to start one in Dallas. It's always some way to network and connect. They do that all the time. I have friends who have literally started like churches out of like um, hotels. Like they would rent a conference room. I mean, like it's so easy to get stuff on and popping. You got the Dallas Examiner. I like that because they got like news, um, news that you can use. And those are the main ones that I read that I always had access to. But they have several more listed on here. The Dallas Black Magazine, the da Southern Dallas County Business. I like that because I had like a beauty supply business back in the day. So I like that just to kind of keep going, keep up to keep up with trends, you know, and what the demographics are saying, you know, you know, different things like that. Um, they have two more on here, but that's the main one that I used to read that that Black Magazine um, for Dallas Black Community and Entertainment sites. Dallas Black Come. I always go there when I'm when I'm coming into town, and I'm like, you know what? Let me see what what the what's going on it's bayou classic weekend i'm not going to new orleans or it's christmas you know let me see what's going on or it's fourth of july let me see what festival you know because they post different days different times but if you go on dallas black Home, you can always find the latest events i mean i don't club anymore but when i was clubbing back in the day back in the day they had some of the major clubs mind you i was young when um Deion sanders clubs were popping blackberry uh rockefellers all those oh my god we used to club hop it was nothing for us to hit about five or six and five or six clubs a night it was on and popping oh my god in a club like this I, this is the only thing i like about clubs now in dallas i'm gonna say the ones i went to because i went because my oldest daughter i said where did we go it was right around mardi gras and we went to this jazz cafe it was okay it was a cafe but i was but oh we went to the jazz cafe and we went to another one. Ooh. Ooh, was it pride pure or something maybe i'm thinking of pure in vegas but anyway we went it's like they want you to stand they want you to pay for tables and it wasn't like that when i used to club back in the day now i might have now maybe some of the lounges are different like heroes lounge some of the jazz lounges some of the business lounges but when i went to that one i said this must be for young folks because how you wearing these these um six inch heels and you standing up all night and then mm -mm. no so that right there it wasn't like that back in the day now like i said i only went to that club lately because i'm not really a club goer anymore i'm more of a let's go to a lounge let's go to a concert let's go to a show let's go to a play that kind of thing okay so you also got like party chaser dfw black professionals meet up oh and i was part of like a meetup um for natural hair listers uh nappyology uh dot com naturality.com plant man we used to meet up everywhere libraries at brooklyn i don't even know if brooklyn's is still open brooklyn's was like a, a like a little jazzy restaurant spot man you can meet some nice people if you're single so you gotta go on meetup.com see what's go on there and see what's going on in dallas that fits you know your agenda uh you got the dallas black professional organizations if you got your mba you want to get into that uh, Dallas Metroplex Council of Black Alumni. Oh, you're going to always, if you're in a, a, a fraternity or sorority, they always got stuff. Always. Um, that's always something that you'll see those uh, events on Dallas Black a lot. Um, they got, you know, all the stuff. Accountants, uh, Black Accountants, and National Sales Network for Black, you know, the Black Contractors, and the legal associations from the african-american bar association so you know um they got the dallas black business sites the dfw minority business council dallas black chamber of commerce and i can say for a fact that these places are very accessible to you like score which is like if you're wanting to start a business and you want to get advice from like some uh retired professionals they are very approachable I will say that you know sometimes you've been to been in a city and you go and you feel like they don't even like why are you in here this is not for you mm -mm. i I can only speak for me but i'm very personable but in general i i feel like they're very welcoming when you're trying to get some stuff done um they have uh dallas black civil community related organizations like you know to say dallas black firefighters 
Dallas dinner table, Dallas Urban League. I already mentioned that NAACP Garland branch, 100 Black Men of Greater Dallas, Girls Incorporated. My girls were in Girls Incorporated. Uh, concerned Black Men Greater Dallas, Dallas, you know, Concerned DeSoto Citizens. Um, they have Sisters Network Dallas, the breast for breast cancer and stuff. They got different leisure social organizations, golf association part three affluent blacks of dallas because you know we got some we got the black folks with the coins with the coins they got the co Ooh -wee. Mm -hmm. yeah south uh, mocha moms i was in a, a group with black moms and then one for twins because i had a set of twins they're grown now but they have those kind of groups like those mom groups and stuff like if you're looking to hang out and have like play dates and they got the black vegetarian society uh oh yeah matter of fact hold on Did, let me tell you about this little known fact you know uh erica badu she went to grambling too and me and her i used to help do her hair because me isis her hair braider used to braid my hair she started my locks so what y'all talking about ain't no black people or it ain't no black people it depends on what kind of black people you're trying to meet what kind of black people are you trying to meet because you can meet them in dallas texas ski rangers i don't even ski because one time i twisted my ankle trying to ski in alaska the Dallas Black Culture Sites, like I already told you about the museum. The National Cap, the rodeo, the Dallas Black Rodeo that comes every year. Yeah. Sisters, you like men in jeans? Men, do you like men in jeans? Go to the rodeo. Uh, the Dallas Black Dance Theater. Um, the Dallas Black Academy Arts Letters. I will say if you drink, they don't, they don't allow drinks in there. So just, I went once. And it was the last time I said I'll go because I went to go see Lauren Hill. No, no, no. That one wasn't Lauren. It was uh, Erica Badu. And she was like three hours late. When I tell you I was so pissed because I didn't even have nothing to drink and I'm waiting. Never again. I, I I will listen to her and I will see her on all the award shows, but I'll never go to another concert again. That, that was it. Texas Black Film Festival. Um, the Kwanzaa Fest. I told you about that. They got the Dallas Black Schools. You got Paul Quinn College. That's the HBCU. You got University of North Texas over in Dallas, Cedar Valley College. That's on the southern side of Dallas. And Booker T. Washington High School for the Performing Arts. Like I said, you got the Black Frats, the Omegas, the Thetas, Theta Alpha, Alpha Iota, Iota. Uh, you got the New Kappa Chapter, the Omicron, Gamma Gammas. Uh, you got the Black Mega Churches, Friendship West. I like I like Pastor uh, Frederick D. Haynes. I don't know if he's still a pastor of that church. You got Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship. That's Pastor Tony Evans, Potter's House, T.D. Jakes, Inspiring Body of Christ Church. That's uh, Ibach. That's Pastor Ricky Rush, you know. I think he got like a huge aquarium in that church. It's ridiculous. You got the black radio stations. So y'all better get into this. Don't be listening. Don't be li listening to people. And somebody, um, and it's not enough black people or you ain't gonna be able to do nothing if you black or it ain't enough black. That's a lie. That's a lie from the pit of hell. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to y'all later. If you got a question, comments, please leave it down below and I will make a video response because I got time because...